not interested in anything that I can obtain with just my own power. I've been searching for a demon who can help me accomplish something that's impossible for me to do alone. And I've finally found him. A proud and noble demon who can help me complete the one goal that's always been out of reach. You're saying that demon is me? Yes, that's correct. So, Tyrant Valvatores, no, Lord Valvatores, I dedicate my life to you from here on out. You're going to dedicate your life to me? I, I just saved your life. Why, why would you want to do that? My efforts to save you will only be made worthwhile if you use your life to fulfill your own desires. And that is why I'd like to dedicate the rest of my life to you. That is my desire. You're serious, huh? Just so you know, it's not going to be an easy path to follow. Whatever you wish to do will be my command. I will serve you for the rest of my life. I make this vow to the moon, which is the source of all werewolves' power. Excellent. I will engrave that vow in my heart as well. You shall serve me as long as the moon shines, Fenric. Understood. All is for my lord. This man is the master I have been searching for. This man is the hero who will one day rule the world. The only man who I will trust with my ambitions. That's all there is to it. Hmm. I'm sure everyone has an even greater understanding of Fenric now. Our ties are stronger than ever! Huh? Um, I'm not sure if I understand this whole thing right. So basically, Fen Fen is trying to do something that he can't do alone by using Valzi's power? That's what Desko thought too. Fenfen has been manipulating Valzi however he wanted up until now. That's not completely wrong. I think you two understood more than I expected. I praise you for that. So you don't deny it? I thought it was only about the passionate friendship between two men. Ugh, didn't you grasp it? The three major factors. Trust, friendship, and a great victory? Well, if he's happy with the outcome, I won't say anything, but... Say what you want. You couldn't possibly fathom the relationship between Lord Val and me. So, Fenfen, what are you trying to get Valzi to do that you want so much you've dedicated your life to it? What else could it be? It's... Yes? It's a secret. One dark night, a blood-red moon rises in the Hades sky. The curtain of tragedy opens under the glow of the ominous yet beautiful red moon. In the name of Death Amazel, I hereby deliver thy soul to the red moon! Or something? Did they piss you off? Or is it just because they're pretties? What are you?
you talking about? I knew you were crazy to begin with, but have you finally lost your mind completely? You're the one who's out of your mind. Desko can't believe you're attacking these helpless prinnies from behind. You monster! You demon! You death! Well, I am a demon and death. As death, it is my duty to reap the souls of the prinnies who have paid off their sins and to send them to the Red Moon. I'm just doing my duty, understand? It's my J-O-B. Now go away and leave me alone. That's death job? Oopsie. Big sis, we got it all wrong. We're the ones who are getting pissed off for no reason. Reaping the pretty souls and sending them to the red moon. Oh, I think I remember a pretty telling me something about that a long time ago. I completely forgot about it until now. How could you forget about it? This pertains to you too, you know. What do you mean by that? I'm Fuka, not a prinny. I'm still an active middle schooler. Uh -huh. Sure, okay, whatever. This is all a dream and you're not dead. So can you leave me alone now? I've got things to do if we're done talking. Wait, what are you two doing here anyway? Even if the Red Moon is out, it doesn't mean anything to Prinnies who haven't paid off their sins. Me and Desko were just checking out the moon. We've never seen a Red Moon like that before. Yes, and then we saw a bunch of Prinnies wandering around. So we followed them here. Hmm, I see. Well, you guys didn't mean any harm. I gotta get back to work now, so go home and go to bed. I don't mind leaving you alone, but answer one thing for me. What happens to the souls of the Prinnies after they're sent off to the Red Moon? They are cleansed of their sins from their past life, and the purified souls are sent back to the human world. Back to the human world? Does that mean... They start a brand new life as a human. New life? Seriously? So, so is that rumor true? You know, about that thing that makes wishes come true? Wishes come true? What do you mean? Does it have anything to do with purifying sins? Oh, I see. Okay. I know you don't want to say it out loud, and I don't want to get you in trouble. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> huh? Now she's laughing about something? Are you sure she's okay? What's the matter, big sis? Have you really lost your mind? No way! I finally figured it out! My ticket to waking up from this nightmare! All right! Let's start strategizing, Desko. Desko has no idea what's going on, but she will do anything for Big Sis. I bet she hasn't figured anything out. And this is how Fuka's epic plan to awaken from her nightmare began. What kind of plan did Fuka come up with after their intensive meeting? Where can I find the most money in the netherworld? You've got to know, right? From when you were stealing all that money. How many times do I have to tell you? I was only collecting the money that was supposed to be going to Celestia. If you use the word stealing to describe my actions one more time, I will slap you with a big fine. Anyway, the area with the most money. I've already collected from Fort Knockers, so right now... I suppose the Mint would be your best bet. It's the place that makes all the currency that's circulating around the Netherworld. But why do you want to know about things like that all of a sudden? Big Sis is trying to gather a lot of money to pay for her sins. What? Then that means... 
You're finally admitting that you died! You're finally able to accept it! I'm so proud of you, Fuka! It takes a lot of courage to accept your own death. Ugh! How many times do I have to say this? I'm not dead! Plus, why are you so happy? You're acting like you want me to be dead. Th that's not what I meant. If you still think this is a dream, then why are you trying to pay off your sins to begin with? I couldn't put an end to my nightmare, even after defeating the Netherworld President, those aliens, and Fear the Great. So, I changed my mind and figured I might as well try to pay off my sins as a primmy. I mean, what else is there for me to do? Well, aside from changing your mind... Basically, you've decided to take the righteous path as a Prinny. But, Fuka, you have to understand one thing. Prinnies pay off their sins by earning money through work. Sure, the Mint makes a lot of money, but working there doesn't mean that you will earn a lot of money. Oh, I knew that! That's why I've decided to collect money from there. What? Do you even know what that means? Don't be so rude. Of course I do. Sort of. I've saved the Netherworld a bunch of times, but I haven't gotten paid for any of it. So, I'm just gonna go collect what's owed to me. That's what collecting is, right? Ooh, Desko thinks that Big Sis actually gets it. Oh, well, you may be right. But even if you are justified, the security system at the Mint is one of the toughest ever built. It's not going to be as easy as you think. That's why I'm talking to you, Artina. Seeing as how you're a professional repo lady, you should help me. What? Are you telling me to help you pull a heist? As an angel, I couldn't possibly do that. Oh, yeah? You haven't returned to Celestia because you aren't done collecting money from the Netherworld, right? If you're here just to collect money, then this is one of the best opportunities you're ever going to get. Or are you hanging out in the netherworld because you don't want to leave Valzy? Is it love? A forbidden love between a demon and angel? Is it more exciting because it's taboo? No, I'm here to collect. The Netherworld still owes Celestia about 199,900,000,000 health. That's so much! What are we waiting for? We need to hurry! Oh? Well, no. The Netherworld is just starting to recover, so we don't need to... Oh, really? So you're just taking your time, hanging out with Valzy? Quick, onto the mint! It feels like I'm being coerced into doing this, but whatever. It'll be my pleasure to help you. <gasps> Yay! With our Tina on our side, we're gonna get that money for sure! I is that a compliment, or...? All right! Then the three of us together are the beautiful Phantom Thief Girls! F phantom Thief? Don't forget, we're just going to collect. Okay, let's go see what kind of things the Mint has to offer. Starting with Recon! Ooh, how very Phantom Thief-like! Um, please stop using the word thief. What's the big deal? It's so sexy sounding, isn't it? We're here to steal your heart. Hold it right there! To correct the wrongdoings of the universe, Archangel Flood! Angel. Oh, I knew you'd be.
be here, Lady Flan. Have you come to correct the mistake that Fuka is about to make? Yes, that's right. You girls are about to make a big and terrible mistake. How can you establish a phantom thief game without having a cool team name? Um, Lady Flan? Just checking, but this means the Archangel officially approves the thief gang part, right? Is coming up with a team name so important that an Archangel had to come all the way here to tell us that? Of course it is! The three of you have formed a phantom thief gang for crying out loud! You have to have a team name! It's the law! You would be going against God's will if you don't! It's that important, huh? You should feel lucky to have an Archangel give you a name. Worry? I mean, you know how you're always ranting about love. I just get the feeling that you'll give us some stereotypical, cliché female hero group name. What? Cliché? Well, sometimes fitting into a stereotype is a good thing, isn't it? Lady Flan, this is your chance to show us your dignity as an Archangel. Please, do your best. Okay, then let's focus on how you are Phantom Thieves and that there are three of you. The Phantom Thieves the Third! Really? That sounds wrong in so many ways. How about Bobby's Banditos? What the hell are you talking about? Now you're just being ridiculous. Ugh! You don't like this, you don't like that! We'll never be able to decide! Why don't you come up with something? Look, Lady Flan, now you're getting mad at them for no reason. We're all girls from Hades, so how about the Hades girls? Hmm, it's not very unique, but it's a whole lot better than Bobby's Banditas. Sounds good to me. I don't think we should name the group Angels when I'm the only angel. Why not? It's already been approved by an Archangel. Try Angels it is. <laughs> and I'll be the commander who watches over the Angels from afar. Look, Lady Flan, are you sure about this? <laughs> Try Angels, huh? I feel like...